Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I have for you a Romanesque townhome. So, before we begin building, let me just note that the, all the details were saved to the very end, as they are, of course, optional. And also, let's get a quick little tour. So here we have the storage section of the house, which moves into the main portion. Here is the kitchen setup, and then up the stairs we go to the mini bedroom. So, without further ado, let us begin. So to begin this project, we're going to start off with some polished andesite and some cobblestone. And with that polished andesite, we're just going to place it anywhere, as it doesn't matter yet. But then going to the left of the block you just placed, we're going to count out a total of uh, five, or six blocks, rather. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on that six block, we're going to place an andesite. In between, we're just going to fill that in with cobblestone. And then going upwards, we're going to go a total of four blocks, placing an andesite, and then we're going to go another four blocks, placing another andesite, and now we're going to go back across a total of six times to line up with the other block we already put down, and now we're just going to link these up doing the same thing, mirroring it on both sides. So when you're done, you should have a rectangle that looks like this. Next, we're going to go ahead to the left side again, and we're going to cut out a small 5x5 five five square here. So from these two andesite blocks, we're going to go out 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we're going to go back up a total of 4, and then back in and just squaring it off with the cobblestone. For the next part, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the grass and replace it with birchwood planks. But then also in between the cobblestone, uh, the... Uh, andesite blocks on the interior side, I'm just going to replace those with oak wood. There, and when you are finished, you should have a design that looks like this. A 5 and a 5, two sets of 3's on the outside, and then two sets of 3's long over here, but then this little box shape there for the storage room. So for part two of the build, we're only going to need one material, and that is some stripped oak logs. Now for this part of the build, it's we're just going to be framing out the building. So from the outermost on the long side of the building, we're going to build these up a total of five times. And then the other three andesite blocks on the opposite side, not including the storage room, we're going to build those up a total of six times. Then lastly, on the storage room, we're going to build those up a total of four times. So when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Now to continue with the framing, we're going to take from the tall posts and drag the oak, stripped oak wood logs across, but not all the way, just one block shy, like this, on all the posts, minus the storage ones. Now we're going to continue to the upper floor level, and then from these posts, with the logs facing up, we're going to go up another four times. And once you have a shape that looks like that, we're going to go to the top row here and go over a total of three. So one, two, three, and then four is where we will be placing our block. And then we're just going to match the height of the other posts sticking up. And lastly, for framing, we have one last step, and that is just to make the roof peak like that. I'm going to do those with the other beams as well. But before you put your stripped oak logs away, we're going to go ahead and just connect this side and link it up just like so. And there, now we'll be moving on to filling in the walls. So to fill in the walls, we're going to need our smooth sandstone. And I'm just going to simply raise everywhere where the cobble is up to the post height and we'll do the second floor next, but we're just going to raise everything up just to the height that is given, like so. And we're going to do that all the way around. Once you've raised the first floor, we're going to go to the top floor now. And this one's just a little bit trickier, where you see this first log connecting on the top. We're just going to drag that across from there, and we're going to fill that to the height. And then likewise, the rest of the way around, we're going to fill in the blocks, just minus this area will remain open. 
and when you are done you should have a nice big box filled in with smooth sandstone like this. So for the next part of the build I'm going to grab some stripped oak logs and just about all the types of bricks so that being the the brick block, the brick stairs, and the brick slabs and then I'm going to grab just the oak stairs for right now. And I'm going to start with the storage section. I'm just going to put these stairs upside down on the posts right here. And then again, I'm going to put those on the ground there. And then from here, we're going to take our brick stairs and we're just going to... So from this log out, we're going to go out one and just fill in all the way around with the staircases. So they just kind of loop around the top all the way to that point right there. Then we're going to go up again and if it makes it a little bit easier you can just fill this in with sandstone for the time being and another log there. We're just gonna do the same thing again we're just gradually making our way up with the rooftop here and of course one more time we're gonna square it off again with some staircases. And then lastly just to fill that in we're gonna put some half slab, brick half slabs right there on the top. Now while we're working on the little storage area, let's go ahead and carve out the entrance. So for that you will need your smooth sandstone staircases. I'm going to cut out a six wide on the bottom, or six blocks on the bottom, then another three more on the top, and then just put two staircases facing in towards each other like that. Then while I'm right here, I'm going to detail this little overhang a bit by adding some more support in the middles all the way around the uh, storage barn. With your brick staircases still handy, we're going to go to this little lip area here and we're just going to place some staircases right across the top and then again across the, uh, the next step up. We're going to create a little bit of an overhang like this on both sides. And then we're going to go down one to continue that overhang just to give this side of the building more shape otherwise it would be boring and flat and you should have something like that when you're done and then we're gonna go to the top and do the same thing to create the peaked roof over the top and again making sure we have an overhang on both sides like this once you've finished your peaked roof it should look like this and then we're gonna take out our brick slabs and simply put just fill in across the top just to give that extra little height there at the very peak of the roof. And when you're done, you should have your roof structure done. But we're not quite done with the roof, now we're going to brace it a bit. So on the front and the back, we're going to place some upside down oak logs like this, going upwards. And then we're going to do the same thing on the back side here. And then where the logs connect to the rooftop, I'm just going to place another pair of upside down staircases on both sides. Continuing with the top, I'm going to take the smooth, sta uh, smooth stone sandstone and we're going to place those upside down in between on both sides. And then one more time, we're going to go to this little half roof here with our oak stairs again. And same thing, just these staircases upside down just to brace it a bit. And then where the logs meet the roof. And then one more time on the opposite side, upside down. And of course, with your smooth sandstone stairs in hand, just fill in in between like that for a little bit more bracing. Okay, so now we're going to need a way in. So I'm going to take the stripped oak logs again. I'm also going to take the all the types of the smooth sandstone for now. And let's go ahead and carve the door out. So for the door, I'm going to carve a three wide spot here on the corner. I'm going to do the same thing right there, so it should be a total of six blocks missing. So a gap of one, then I'm going to place our oak logs going straight up like that. And then right there on the top, we're going to put one straight up. Then I'm going to go back and grab the oak stairs, as I forgot. We're going to put that upside down right in the center. And as always for the door, I like to nestle it back one space, just to give that building that little extra depth that it probably doesn't need, but it looks good to me. And one more door, actually. We're going to need that here as I forgot to fill this in with sandstone. So I'm just going to fill that in right there with a the same thing, usually three high. And in this case, I'm going to do an upside down smooth sandstone and the door right there. So now we're going to need the staircase to go up to the second floor. 
So to do that, we're going to start here in the center where this oak log comes down. I'm going to place a staircase there, a block in front of it, another staircase. Now we can't really do a block in front of this door as it wouldn't work, but we're going to place a staircase there. Then I'm going to raise up some blocks here in the corner, and likewise again here. Then we're going to bring up one staircase. We're going to jump back down, raise up the smooth sandstone as the platform. And now from here, we can't really... I mean, you could essentially keep putting the walls of sandstone, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to put a staircase here on this crossing log, and then one upside down like this. And then lastly, connecting up that one right there, so we have a way up. And of course, one more underneath, just to give it that support. There, now we have access to the upper floor, and we may as well fill that in with some birchwood planks while we're right here. So now that we have the upper floor accessible, let's go ahead and cut out the window. So I'm going to cut out four spots here, and I'm going to cut out four spots there. And simply put, I'm just going to put the smooth sandstone upside down in both windows. Now we're going to put some windows down here in the front. So from the door, we're going to go over two spaces, cut out four spots as well, put in two pairs of upside down staircases, and then this last window, I'm going to cut out four again, right here, next to that little thick wall there, and just more staircases upside down. So before we begin detailing the exterior, let's go ahead and continue cleaning up the inside a bit. So we're going to need our stripped oak logs, some oak planks, and some oak stairs. And while we're at it, we may as well grab the chain and <clears throat> a lantern. So from here, I'm going to take these stripped oak logs, and where the staircase runs across, we're going to take our oak logs and go this way with them. Likewise, where that gap next to the brick is, we're going to place some oak planks. And then we're going to brace that ceiling with some upside down oak staircases. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing over here, just in these two spots as we can't put one here. Now we're going to go up to the second floor, and again with the oak planks out, I'm just going to fill in all the spots where the brick is. Then we're going to take some staircases, put them upside down in both corners. Likewise, would the logs go up? And then here in the very center, we're going to take another log, put it there, and then a pair of upside down staircases like so. And then lastly, for the final touch, I'm just going to put a lantern hanging from a chain right there. Now we got to clean up the inside of the storage room, which is pretty simple. So I'm just going to put a log here in the center. Likewise, I'm going to put another log there, but I'm going to have this log come down one more. And I'm just going to have the staircases go all the way around it like this. And, of course, a chain with a lantern dangling right there. Now for the fun part, we're going to start detailing the outside of the building. So I'm going to need some glass panes. We're going to need these lovely spruce trap doors. And we'll just do the windows first. So with all the windows, we're just going to fill them in with glass panes. And then beside all the windows, we're going to put some spruce trap doors as the window shutters. And we'll do that with all the windows. Now for a little more added detail, I'm going to grab some sandstone and sandstone stairs. Not the smooth stuff because now we're going to do our little intermittent patterns throughout the building. This just kind of breaks up that one smooth texture that we have prevalent everywhere. And again, this part is optional, so you may skip this part if you wish, but I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll be right back. Once you have achieved the look that you desire, we're going to go ahead and take our oak fences, and where the roof has that little gap, I'm just going to place some oak fences in between like this, all the way around the building, and just here and there I'm going to place some that have a longer post than another, just to give it a little more variation. Now we're going to need our oak staircases again, and just where the logs kind of meet the ground, I like to add this as a little more support for the bottom of the building. We'll do that all the way around the structure. And then this one, I don't always like a pair of staircases in front of the door, so I'm just going to put an oak fence there, and in fact, I'll probably do something like that. So to continue with the details, we're going to need our oak slabs, and we're going to need 
both the chain and lantern again. This is just to kind of light up the outside of the building. So I'm going to put a staircase right side up here on this row, and then another one upside down right below it, and then an oak slab coming out one. And here's the chain. I'm going to put two down, and then the lantern dangling from that. You can do the same thing on the back side if you wish. That's what I did for the photo. So I'm going to put two there, one there with the oak st uh, slab, and then this time I'm going to use one chain like that. And then some, for some more details, I did place random sandstone blocks around just to kind of give it that strange look here and there. It does help break it up a bit, and again, this part is optional. And I'm going to go ahead and do this just randomly around the building. And there is one last little bit of interior stuff I did forget. And I'm just going to put a chain with a lantern right here in the center. And there we have it. We're done. And there we have it, a Romanesque townhome. Now, of course, I don't typically do the interior design as I am not very good at it. I only do like a little bit of the showcasing on the beginning structure. So that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Please do let me know by leaving a like, comment, or if you're really feeling it, give me a nice subscribe. It's all motivation to keep me going. So until next time, see you later.